thought we'd dye some fibre today. This is a blend of dyed black merino, merino and silk. I'll just lay the fibre out. I usually dye these in batches of four, so that's four in a colourway. I'll just scrunch them up a little bit. I've laid some plastic, this is palette wrapping actually, underneath it, down underneath. And um, then I'll put my colours on. Um, okay, just want to make sure I've got a cloth. Right, so we're going to put yellow on the end. It's a nice bright yellow. tend to wipe my hands on the cloth be between so that it doesn't contaminate the next colour. And this is orange. Next colour is a nice bright pink. These are Dharma acid dyes and they will need to be heat set. Not my hands again. Got a purple. Or violet, should I say? I'm being very gentle about pressing the fibre because we don't want to handle it too much or it'll get start at felting. Okay. And then we've got turquoise. And I've got chartreuse. Okay. I might go back for some more yellow. Just double checking, making sure it's yellow.
and I might actually put some more pink on the end here for the last of it. wipe my hands. Now what I generally do is I flip them over to make sure the, the other side is covered. And this is two of them here of the four. And the same with these. And then I just go back and do where I think it needs a little bit more colour. more of the orange it's important when you put the colors on that you make sure where two colors meet that they're not going to make a color you don't want but like they're not going to make brown so if I was to put the purple for instance here then the brown then the purple and the orange would make brown so if I put it between the pink and the turquoise then it's only going to make a darker purple here and a more pinky purple on this side. Chartreuse. And then I scrunch it up a bit. If you're only doing one, you can use Glad Wrap. But because I'm doing four at a time, it's, the Glad Wrap's not quite wide enough. Okay. Tuck the ends in. Fold it in half. And then I'll put it in here. And then from there, I put it in my saucepan and heat it for 40 minutes. I'll show you what it looks like when it's all done. These, uh, this is what we dyed yesterday. These are the, um, the ones we did with the Dharma acid dyes and they have been steamed. As you can see, it makes the plastic stick a bit together. I haven't rinsed these or anything. These are straight out of the um, pan from being steamed. As you can see, there is not really any colour left in them. So what I do is, ooh, I might move it over a little bit. I put them into a mesh lounge. Well, you buy these bags at the supermarket, they're sold as lingerie bags. Okay, I just put them in one of these bags. The zip's broken, but I just put a rubber band on them. And then I spin the water out. I've actually got a twin tub that I use for that. Spin the water out and then I rinse them. Okay. Okay, so this was the one we dyed with the Dharma dyes and has been steamed and it's been rinsed. Okay. So this is the way it was laid out when we dyed it. Okay. 
this will fluff up quite a lot once it's dry. The colours are nice and bright. Okay, so I'll come back and show you when it's all totally dry. I'm back with the first batch of fibre we did with the Dharma Acid dyes and as you can see it's dry and it's quite fluffy and um, soft um, these are this is 100 grams of it so this I've done four and I thought I would um, and these are ready to spin so they're quite soft fluffy using the mesh bags means you don't compact it down too much and I'll show you how I braid them so I just form a loop, a bit like you would do if you are crocheting or finger knitting, and then I pull the next one through it. Keep going until you reach the end. It just keeps the fibre all together rather than loose and um, possibly separating. And then the tail, I just poke through the last loop and then I tuck this tail in just in there. So there you are, finished fibre, ready to spin. Okay, it's good compact, it doesn't sort of take up quite as much room as one of those and keeps it all together, not fluffing around. And to spin it, you just take that loop out and then undo it. I tend to leave the braid together while I'm spinning and just spin it, leave it attached and then just as I spin undo a little bit more and a little bit more until you're finished. Okay I hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, if you've enjoyed it please give me a thumbs up um, down the bottom and subscribe. I'm hoping to have plenty more videos to bring. We're only a new YouTube channel so Feel free to come along while I'm working.